Shilwam, when a sort of souls but give no praise to Yahweh, Howell, but Hashem, Yahusha, but Hashem, Kakudash, the Balon is supposed to great most on an honest you brothers doing the work of the most on truth and in sincerity. Yahweh's raw name, whom the world ignorantly calls God, Jehovah, or Yahweh, his raw name is Yahweh, and the son's true name is Yahweh Shai, and when we pray, pray Yahweh, Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bar meaning in, Ha meaning the and Shah meaning name, so Yahweh, the name of Yahweh Shai. This one's inspired, um, from uh which called the apostles camp uh this week and just want to you know play and it made me think of a phrase that is used in the crypto community which is hodl right which at first i thought it was um you know a misspelling of the word of the word hold right you know because whenever the, the the money crashes that you know the, the 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 you know the numbers are crushing uh crashing rather right um you know, people are just like HODL, HODL. So I always thought it was like hold, as in, you know, you hold your market position. You don't react emotionally to, um, you know, to, to external stimuli, right? And I was kind of thinking, you know, that's kind of like in this thing of ours, which this thing of ours, are, you know, that's the true riches, right? And to prove that this is Proverbs 8 and 11, it says, for wisdom is better than rubies and all things that may be desired and not to be compared to it. Right, so the real riches are, you know, are, are, are these scriptures. Read, um, was it Revelation two and nine or three and nine, which says, "I know the blast." Uh, uh, let me just get it because I've forgotten how it's written. Let me just not butcher it. Right, it's Revelation two and nine. Yes, yeah, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Right now, originally this was to one of the seven churches in Asia Minor, right? There's you know the, these different scriptures, but you know nowadays we do use it. Um, just this verse, um, you know, reference to these, you know, to these Amalekites, man, over there in our land, right? Those people, as I as I refer to them, right? It says, "I know thy works and tribulation and poverty." Right, so this is us, right? We're we're in a poor, um, we're in a poor state. Right. However, it says, but thou art rich, rich how? rich by way of these scriptures. Right. So I know the blasphemy of them which say they are that word it says and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. Right. And that's those people out there, man. Right. Over in our land impersonating us, taking on our 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 name. Right. As if to say that they're the people and they're not. Right. So these are the real riches. So like I said, when when I was listening to this, um, you know, it, 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 it you know that's this is kind of like what I thought of. Right, so uh, let me play it real quick. It said, it said, hold fast, right? It said, hold fast. Yep. What, does it, what does it mean by hold fast? I'm asking you. What does it mean by hold fast? Read it again. It says, it's holding fast the faithful word. What does it mean to hold fast? Fast means hold fast and hold in the It means, to, it means to hold tight. When you, when you button yourself up, you're fastening yourself, right? right. <clears throat> so when it says hold fast, you, you got to hold it hard. Yeah. And try to get away. Try to get away. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm going to fight, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cleave. Right. And you got to see some of your life, get away. Right. Try to get away. And then I'll let you go. All right, right. And I'll hope you're coming back. Right. The whole time. <coughs> yeah. Tight. When you fast, fast, yep, fast, yep. Mm. Hold fast, yeah. Because it was the same thing in uh, uh, Revelation. It's all over the place, but Revelation 3, verse 10. Mm. Matter of fact, get that as well. Read that and then get that Revelation 3, verse 10. It's like an iron peg in a frozen tundra. <laughs> <laughs> it's un unmovable, unshakable. Yeah. Oh, matter of fact, um, Romans. It says, uh, Somebody offer you a bag, you keep it as two. Somebody eight, pull you to the eight, side eight, and offer you a, a bag. And you take it, that means you wasn't holding fast. It's loose. Uh, Titus 1 and, and 9. Holding fast the faithful word as he has been taught that he may as be. As he has been taught. Who taught him that? We did. So, so to make you hold yeah. fast, we got to hold, we got to show you that we're holding fast. You know, and Gino, you, uh, you can continue on the rest, right? But that's where the, you know, the inspiration uh, came from this man holding fast right you know and even in that pre a precept to that which uh was just read there right you've got um uh, uh you know scripture says continue thou the things thou hast learned right 
So um, yeah, let, let, let's get this definition real quick. All right, so this is from a nerdwallet.com. What does HODL HODL mean? How a typo became a crypto meme, right? So it, it did start as a misspelling, right? So as when what started as a joke now represents advice shared by both crypto enthusiasts and traditional financial planners, right? So the term HODL HODL, right, first appeared in an online cryptocurrency forum in 2013 as a misspelling of HOLD a typo that readers quickly embrace. Hoddle or hold on for dear life is now a widely known concept in the crypto community that refers to the strategy of not selling your digital assets even amid extreme um, uh, price changes in the market, right? And in fact, if it goes and say blind faith in the product idea may might seem like a poor quality for an investor. Right, but in, in this thing of ours, you know, once again considering this this truth is money, it's talent, right? You know, we we have to have faith, you know, an unmovable faith, right? In this thing, I mean, we must hold on regardless of whatever it is, because guess what, right? It says that we go we go we go and uh, go through a load of things, right? It says Acts uh, fourteen twenty two. That's one. Um, would you call it load another while it's still on my mind? Um, this is uh, oh, so second of seven, I believe. Um, seven, yep, right. So uh, let's get this first, right? Acts 14, 22, confirm the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, right? Continue, right? To hold on, right? And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High, right? So not giving up, right? Not being uh, a shake and not being moved, right? Um, uh, uh, you know, when, when things happen, because guess what? Things are going to happen, but all these things that happen are happening for... Uh, you know, the testing of our faith, right? The proving of our faith, right? This is my uh, Sirach 2. That says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, right? And, and it's basically meaning it's, gonna, it's going to happen. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. So not endure once, not endure twice, you know, because in this thing of us, we're going to have highs and we're going to have lows, just like that stock market, Right? And, you know, especially the crypto markets up and down, up and down, up and down, where you have like, you know, periods of serious highs, but then you have periods of extreme lows, right? You know, when, where, 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 you know, the, the, you know, your, your, your wallet is down and out, right? But guess what? That's just once again, like in this thing, where we'll have periods when, you know, hey, the Lord, you know, what it's going to say in a sec, right? It says, set thy heart right and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble, right, cleave unto him, hold to cleave, you heard the apostle Rama say the word cleave, right, hold unto him and depart not away, right, hold on for dear life, right, because the truth is our lives do depend on it, right, quite literally, right, our lives uh, literally depend on it, right, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state, right, so just like them, them, the market graphs might not go up and not go down. Guess what? In this, in this thing, right, the Lord will will bring us low, man. Right. Once again, it is it is a proving of our faith, ain't to destroy us, right? If if, if the Lord um brings someone low, right, and that person falls out, guess what? Scripture says they were never among us, right? They were never of us, right? So it says um. Uh, uh, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, trust in him, right? Have faith in him, right? And he will help thee. All that thou wear right and trust in him. <laughs> ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall, right? Says ye, because uh, uh, that, that's it, man, right? Mood doing anything else, right? Letting go, right? Not holding on for dear life really is 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 death, right? Here it is. We've got this investment, right? And the thing is, we know we know this investment pays out, 
man, it pays out the best, right? They ain't, they ain't what we, we just read it earlier on in, in uh, Proverbs 8, right? They ain't nothing that pays out like this investment, right? But to, 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 to lose it just ain't worth it. Right, it goes on, um, I'll read to verse 9, right, it says, Ye that fear the Lord, believe in him, and your reward shall not fail. Right, scriptures constantly talk about reward. Right, you read uh, Revelation 22nd uh, chapter, Yahushua says, um, you know, behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. Paul speaks about how there is a crown laid up for him. Second Ezra speaks about, uh, you know, the, the, that, that event in more detail, right, about, yeah, about how Yahushua is going to crown the elect, right? So that's what it's all about, right? Holding on, right? And then hoping, you know, uh, and, uh, and what? being of the elect, right? It says, ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. And that is the rewards, right? People that, you know, HODL, that hold on for dear life, that hold in the crypto world, right? They, they're, they're holding for that, you know, for the, um, uh, you know, the, the, the carnal pennies, Right? But we're, we're holding on for the spiritual pennies, right? Which is it, which, you know, and, 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 that's, and that's what it's about. It's second Ezra 7 um, and 6, right? There is also another thing. A city is built and set up and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things, right? So this, that's the prize, right? Once again, you know, the, the, the crypto boys, you know, you know, they want to make that investment become billionaire so that they can, you know, have all of the good things of this world. Right? But here, we, 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 we're trying to get the good things of the next world, right? We're trying to get that position in the next world. That's what, we're, you know, we're, we're working for, right? That's what we're holding on for, right? It says the entrance thereof is narrow, right? And is set in a dangerous place to, to, to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water, right? And on and one only path between them, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could be one man but go there at once. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the dangerous danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Right? So there's that's a you know, obviously an allegory for the kingdom. If we don't if we don't go through these trials and tribulations, these ups, these downs, these highs, these lows, right? Guess what? We're never gonna get 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 to the other side. It just ain't gonna happen, right? Um, that's all I had there. But um, let me let me grab this as well. Uh, Revelation two twenty five, and then also. Is that the same precept I'm thinking of, isn't it? Yeah, that's the same precept, but it lulls. Uh Revelation 2.25, but that which ye have already, hold fast till I come, right? And that's it, hold fast, don't let it go, right? That power to hold, man, to hold. <laughs> Krateo, <laughs> right? To hold fast, not discard or let go, right? To keep carefully and faithfully, to continue to hold, to retain. Right, and that's it to continue to hold to retain, man. Right, to continue. Right, it says, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. Once again, the reward. Right, scripture says, the most size not unrighteous, you know, to forget your, you know, your, 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 your work and labor of love, roughly paraphrasing. Right, the Lord ain't gonna forget. Right, <laughs> why? Because he's the one that made, you know, made us do it. <laughs> Right, it says, and he shall rule over them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. And that's it. So, um, yeah, just you know, just a quick one. You know, hold, right? H O T L, hold on for dear life. Right, hold. All right, so as always, laws with all that the fun till next time we say, shall I one.